Salesforce application. So first of all, whenever we want to implement any project, so the first thing we need to understand this project, what are the projects that I'm going to implement for which application we, we are implementing it. Let's say, for example, I we got a requirement from the ICIC bank. That means I'm implementing a functionality for the ICIC bank. Or else I have received a requirement or a functionality improvement project we have received it from the Yamaha. So that means we are implementing the application for the Yamaha. So we need to understand whenever we are working on any logic or anything that we are working in the real time, we should understand for which project or which application are we implementing it. What is custom application that we have to do with? So whenever we start working on the project, the first thing is that we will be creating an application. So we will be creating an application at first place. Their application is, let's say, for example, we have received an application, then the project which we have received it for the insurance application. Project is insurance application. For this insurance application, now let's assume that we need to work on the like a insurance application has to, they have a different type of a functionality. That means they need to capture the branch information. This insurance company is there in the different branches. Different branches we have. So I need to capture the branch information. And also in this insurance company, how many employees are there? I need to capture all the employees details and maintain the employees details in the application. Similarly, we have an agent. We have an agent. So agent information is also, I need to maintain it. Then I have a customer information. So customer information also we need to maintain. And in the insurance policy, we have a policy details. Policy information, there are different type of policy information will be there. Right? So we need to maintain all those policy information. and. What are the claims are there? So we need to see all these informations, right? So if I have to implement an insurance application, there are so many functionalities that are implement need to implement in the insurance application. So like a, to capture the branch information, I need to create a branch object. I cannot use the custom object. So I need to create a branch object. And then it will be linked to the employee, it will be linked to the agent, policy, customers, right, and then claims. So this application should contain the branches, employees, agents, policies, customers, and claims. Now, if I open this application, the first thing is that if anyone in the insurance company, if they are opening the application, they should see that these are the basic information they should see if they are opening in the mobile. If they are opening in the mobile and in the mobile they have opened the insurance application. If they have opened the insurance application, the first list should appear is this is the list should appear. So this is called as a application. This application we have to implement. So before going to the object, the first thing is that we need to create a application. So let's assume that we are going to implement an application. First of all, how to create application? Go to the setup. And here, search for an app manager. Search for app manager. Now you will see the app manager inside the apps. Click on this app manager. Click on this new connected app, sorry, new application. New lightning app. Click on this new lightning app. Now, what is the app we are going to implement? Let's suppose, say, Swapna IT application we are going to implement. 
Now you can choose any image. Let's say I'm going to upload one image here. Check what is that image. Open that image. So we can load the image here, which is related to this Pakna ID, and then click on the next button. Navigation and form factor. So standard navigation, you are going with the standard navigation. Standard navigation is nothing but what are the sales force is providing default that navigation. Console navigation is nothing but now this is the standard navigation. The service, this is the standard navigation. Console navigation is nothing but now in service itself, I have a service console. I have a service console. Console is nothing but it will, the view is a different. The view is different. You will not see all the objects this side. All the objects you will see here below this. So the view on the console is a different, but the standard is different. So this is called as a console where you have a recently viewed and record the detail section and you have a case information milestone. Whereas a standard navigation is nothing but where you can see all the objects, all the objects here. If you open the object, then you will be able to see the single record information. Record information. So click on the app launcher services. So this is console. This is the console navigation and this is standard navigation. This is standard navigation. So which one do you want to go for it? Standard navigation or a console navigation? Now supported from the factor, whether do you want to go for a desktop phone or only the desktop. Experience um, setup, do you want to have a full setup of the setup options or just a service setup? Let's go with the full set. App personalized settings, do you want to disable the end user personalization like a navigation item app or do you want to disable the temporary tabs? I don't want to disable anything, just click on the next. Add a utility. Now, if you want to add any utility items, now in this case, utility items are these are the ones. chart page, flows, history, map, list view. So these are the different utilities, reports, charts. If you want to add anything, you can add it. So by default, nothing will be there. Now, what are the items or what are the objects do you want to see in this application? Let's say I just wanted to see the account and I want to see the contact. Assume that, let's click on the contact. So this is contacts. Account and contact, only two objects I wanted to see. Click on next button. And which profile should have a access? Do you want everybody should be seeing this application or only few members? Let's say, I will say here, if you want everyone, just select it. Like if you are saying that only system admin should be able to see others, we do not want it. So select the system admin, just move on. Or else if you want everyone to be viewing this application, select this, hold the shift key. If you are using the windows, hold the shift key and then select it, move on. Select the shift key and select it and click on move this to the all the profiles. Click on save and finish. The application is created. It takes some time. Now the application is created. What is the application that we have created? We have created the application which is called as a Spapna Trade. So created today and which view? It is a lightning view. Now here it is going to explain that what is the type of view. Is it a classic view or is it a lightning view? 
right? So what is the type of, you can see here, whether it is a classic view or a lightning view. Now, does it visible? Is it a visible to the, in the lightning experience or not? Is it a visible in the lightning experience? So one of the application is not available in the lightning experience. Similarly, it is going to give us the information whether this application can be viewed in the lightning as well as the classic. Now, if you want to modify anything on the app level, just click on this arrow button and click on edit. Click on edit and if you want to modify anything, you can modify it. Go to the builder. To the lightning app builder. And navigation item. If you want to remove it or add any items, you can do that. Now let's go ahead and check here. Click on this app launcher. Let's refresh before that. Click on this app launcher. View all. Now the Swapna IT is created. Right, how many objects we have selected? We have selected only a content contact. And I can see a content contact, only two objects is added. Let's say if you want to add a few more objects, let's say you wanted to add reports. So search here reports. Reports and if you want to see the dashboard, you can select the dashboard and then click on save. Once it is done, just refresh it. Now you will be able to see the total four tabs here. For reflection, it is going to take some time. In order to reflect whatever we have created, it will take some time. Like this, how many applications can I create in the developer edition? In the free edition, how many applications can I create it? Maximum, you can create a 10 applications in the developer edition. Maximum, you can create 10 applications in the developer edition. If it is a unlimited edition, that means if it is a paid edition, if it is a paid edition, unlimited edition, you can create an unlimited number of the custom application. There is no limit on that. But in developer, we have a limit which is called as a tab. Let's refresh, it is taking some time. We can move on. So let's say here, app default, app options. If you want to change anything, app options, you can change it. So default branding in case if you want to add a description or if you want to change a logo, you can make a changes to this, right? So theme, if you want to apply any theme, you can apply it. So org theme options. You can click on save. That is taking time. Let's move on. Now here, Garner limits like a, in developer edition, you can create a 10 custom applications. Unlimited edition, we can create unlimited number of custom applications. We can create it. So this is the referral link. Now this referral link is uh, where I have explained clearly about the app applications. And you can go to this YouTube channel.